everyone, my name is Jolena and this is Just Being Jill Adobe Tutorials. So what if I told you that you don't have to be an amazing illustrator to make a complex icon? With this tutorial, all you're going to need is one simple circle and of course the shape builder tool. So if you want to not only follow along, but you also want to work with me, there's going to be a link in my description where you can download this exact file. All right, let's start creating. All right, so I already have my Toucan file open and just like that thumbnail was saying, we're gonna be using the Shape Builder tool to make this complex Toucan icon out of one simple geometric shape. Naturally, the first tool that I'm gonna be reaching for is my ellipse. And just to make sure everything is set up right, I'm gonna to go to my appearance panel and make sure that there is no fill and that the color for my stroke is anything that's contrasting this photo. I felt like the cyan worked for me. And then I'm gonna set the weight to four points. Before I even make my first circle, I do think it's important to look at your subject and see if there's any natural curves. So for me, I'm kind of seeing this half circle shape from the tip of the bill to the head and neck. So to create my first circle, I am going to hold shift, click and drag. All right. And then I'm just going to place this over that natural curve that I was seeing. And I'm going to be resizing this, but I'm not going to be resizing any other circle. I want to make sure that I have consistency in all of my curves for this icon. And it also helps with a quicker workflow. You don't want to be taking extra time to resize the circles. You can also see there's a little bit of space right here. That's okay. This icon is a caricature of the real thing. So we just need at least the lines to look fairly similar to the toucan. So for the next circle, instead of me copying and pasting, what I'm going to do is actually hold option. And you can see that my cursor doubles when I hover over the path, and then I'm just going to click and drag down. And that's going to give me a duplicate. So I'm going to start placing it between these two parts of the beak. Using my arrow keys just to have little movements back and forth up and down to place it. And then it's pretty much just rinse and repeat after that. I just want to make sure that I'm getting all of those key points that make this toucan recognizable. So like the dark tip of the bill and this triangle, like bright yellow triangle for the eye. So I think that is enough. I don't think there's any more places that I want to make sure that I mark off. Initially, I thought that I was going to be building the body over here, but I like the natural kind of wing shape that this is making. And now it just looks like the toucan is looking backwards and we still get that profile that makes sense. All right, now I don't need this background photo anymore. So I'm going to unlock it and you could either hold option command to and that will unlock it. Or you can go to object, unlock all, and then just delete it. I'm then going to select all of my circles and just make sure that they're all on my artboard and easy to see. I'm also going to change the stroke color from the cyan to black. It's kind of hard to see over this white background. Oh, I almost forgot. I also want to add this little eyeball. So I'm just going to duplicate this and resize this. This is the only one, so it's better to save it for last. All right. I think that looks good. Okay, I hope you're starting to see a method to the madness. I know it's really easy to kind of get lost in all of these extra parts that we don't want, but I promise with the Shape Builder tool, this is going to be a lot easier to see soon. So I'm going to select all of these pieces and hop over to my Shape Builder tool. It's right here under your eraser. And if you look at the cursor, you see this little plus symbol right underneath. And so that means we are in merge mode. So if I hover over any of these closed paths, 
it starts to have kind of this mesh overlay saying that this is a closed shape, this is a closed shape, but if I strike through these two pieces, now it unites them. And then if I want to subtract, all I have to do is hold option and that plus symbol turns to that little minus symbol. And then I can just strike through all of the pieces that I don't want. I'm gonna zoom in for this part. All right, and for these specific lines that I don't want, all I have to do is hold option and then hover over that one distinct path and it'll glow red and that's how you know that is your selection you're gonna be deleting. I'm gonna go here too. What I love about this tutorial is every time I make it, the toucan always looks different. So please know if your toucan looks a little bit different, it's supposed to, and you just kind of get your own creative liberty with that. All right, so now we have this outline of the toucan. I like to just out of habit, drag this copy, just duplicate it and put it on the side. That way you just have the original to work with and I usually lock it down, so command two. That way nothing happens to it. But now if I want to color this, if I just pull these pieces apart, it's not necessarily, these aren't closed shapes. So now that we have trimmed off all the pieces that we didn't want, we now need to define the shapes. So I'm gonna go back to my shape builder tool and I'm going to say in this space, I'm going to click and say, this is a shape, click in here and just make sure you get all of the pieces. And then now when I go back to my selection tool and I want to take out a certain piece, this is a whole and united shape. Okay. For the next part, the color is pretty easy. I like to just use my reference photo as the natural color palette so I don't have to guess. And I know that all of those colors work together. So I'm just going to start from the tip of the wing and I'm going to get my eyedropper tool. The hotkey for that is I, or it is right here. And then I'm going to just color pick from the actual picture. And I'm gonna have to zoom in, get really close to the eyeball for this. Cause I do like this contrasting blue to this like yellow orange. All right, I think that'll do. So this is it. This is your final toucan icon. In my Instagram stories, you might've seen, I kind of get creative with this and I'll write out the word toucan and I will add this into the O because half of the body or two thirds of the body actually is in a perfect circle. So it adds a little bit of visual interest. Plus you get this wing kind of hanging out. So I hope you're feeling more comfortable using the Shape Builder tool and that you're proud of your toucan. If you are, please tag me in it if you post it. I would love to see what you make. And if you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button. I'll be making more tutorials. And if you're on IGTV, make sure to turn on your notifications. All right, well, I will see you next time and keep creating. <laughs>